Some wildlife officers say it speeds up the process to take action immediately rather than wait to obtain a search warrant to go on private property. But some people say that's a violation of property owners' rights. If it's private property, then they can't go there no matter how far away the nearest house is. A decision fishing captain and New Channel 9 outdoor contributor Richard Sims says is causing a big problem for where game wardens can investigate. The overwhelming majority of land in Tennessee is private land, but the wildlife on that land is considered public property. That wildlife belongs to you just as much as it belongs to the game wardens or that landowner. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency decided it will not appeal its most recent court loss, meaning they will have to get warrants to set up cameras and search open fields for poachers and other lawbreakers. The 1926 rule that allowed them to do that is called the Open Field Doctrine. The overwhelming majority of private land in the state was open to warrantless invasion prior to the Court of Appeals decision. This all started with the case of Terry Rainwaters and Hunter Hollingsworth. They found hidden cameras on their West Tennessee property and sued TWRA. The Institute of Justice represents the pair. Private land is a place where we do private things, and it's not private if the government can come on whenever and however it pleases. Retired wildlife officer Wayne Rich says his concerns lie beyond just wildlife enforcement. There's crimes that are committed in out-of-the-way places, and sometimes you know, those crimes can be stopped if the officer had information and was in there and would not necessarily have to have a search warrant to go on private property. However, Josh Windham, attorney with the Institute for Justice, says proper steps need to be taken before that can happen. I don't think any of us would say it's a waste of time, for example, to get a warrant before bursting into somebody's private home or their private backyard. In Chattanooga, I'm Jordan Karnback, News Channel 9. Terry Rainwaters, who was behind the initial lawsuit, responded to the agency's decision saying, quote, to hear the court say that our land deserves protection from TWRA's warrantless intrusions makes me proud to be a Tennessean. Thank you so much for making Storm Track 9 your first choice for local weather. To stay up to date with the latest, please like and subscribe.